London, a blank canvas for any graffiti artist. Every street you walk down you'll see a tag or a name, but is it art? Is it vandalism? The London City Council says that vandalising public or private property is a crime in most jurisdictions. Not to be cliché, but whether you love it or you hate it, London is captivated by graffiti. Is graffiti creating a culture or is it colouring outside the lines? We talk to art students about how they feel about their city being painted. Cheap. Rebellion. Wank. Revolution. Illegal. The critics don't matter. We can only go to the artists, see how this culture has manifested and why it's growing. It's a, a form of an expression of, of, uh, of uh, art that has uh, little boundaries, and that's what I what I like about it. It's a counter attack on all of the media that we're bombarded with every day, all of the advertisements and stuff that I don't want to know about, and all of the charity huggers, muggers, all of the you know everything, all of the high purchase loans, all of the all of the bookies, all of, all of that stuff. Which you know, every day we have to be forced to go through it every day, and you know, I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather say my bit. And I guess you say it through graffiti, and uh, it's just an expression. It's breakdancing letters to me. Breakdancing letters. I get my inspiration from London. I'm from London. I love London. Um, you know, hip hop. It's just, it's, it's all, it's all, it's all part of the same culture that sort of mutated um, and, and had it and found London and uh, you know it's, it's it's just about raw expression um, also about the buzz you know about the lifestyle. Graffiti is it's not a sport, <laughs> not an extreme sport but it's very similar like it does give you that addictive adrenaline rush and it's just psychologically it's proven to be uh, to be addictive and yeah um, it is it is you, know, you want to carry on doing and, and if you want to stop I guess it's just like any other addiction you have to force yourself yeah you get a great buzz if you're writing illegally um, you know if you're painting the train you know and you're sort of firstly it's, it's can be dangerous on the track sides as well you know people die writing graffiti climbing up high you could injure yourself it's just like gambling um, you gamble with, with your freedom with your life some graphers have been sentenced to four years in prison, which is the same time for people that have committed theft and fraud. A few of my friends have gone to jail for writing. And, you've, and you know, if you go, you know, if you're on a wing in jail and you say, oh yeah, what are you in for? I say, oh, I'm in there for writing my tag. People just laugh in your face. And then, and then what happens is people are going to try and take your burn and try and take your dinner. You know, it's just, it's just one of those things. If someone scrolls their name on a wall and is sent to prison with rapists and murderers, they're going to come out doing much worse things than tagging. Once you go to prison, you come out five times as worse as well. And I don't know how they send non-violent offenders to prison to, to become violent people. Or to, you know, it's better, prison is a hard place to sort of inhabit and sort of come out as a well-rounded person because of you know, especially if you if you go to prison for writing, uh, you, you'd just be pissed off, wouldn't you? Graffiti is said to overstep the mark of vandalism when so-called artists throw war memorials and graves. Does Tekken have to go this far? Right, don't write on people's graves. Don't write on churches, sacred monuments. Don't write on. Don't write on synagogues, mosques. Don't write on things like that because of, you know these people they, they died for that. And you know, I swear, man, you're going to hell if you do that shit. People just don't give a fuck sometimes, you know? Like, they, they don't give a fuck, so they do it. Sometimes they're like, okay, every, every property is going property, so they do it. Um, there's so many reasons why, or so little reasons why people do it. Um, but vandalizing is part of it, and it's never gonna, it's never gonna disappear, if you like it or not. According to BBC News, London spends £100 million a year on the removal of graffiti. Alone, Wandsworth Council spends over £600,000 on cleaning up this alleged vandalism. There's a big difference between graffiti and street art. I think I may have said this before, but you know, graffiti artists, they used to anyway, not so much now, but they come from the street, they represent the street, they stand the test of the street. Whereas street artists, you know, they go and they do their little stencils or they get out their paintbrushes and get them next to Chris Lang. Street artists cheat ultimately. It's supposed to be freehand, it's supposed to be, be something that's an expression of style. That's what it's about. It's not about it's not about a, a resolved piece of artwork. It's not about that. You know, it's not about something that you contemplate. It's, it's just it's just a, it's literally supposed to stand on its own and, 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 and represent a culture that, you know, we inherited from New York. Is it actually causing a problem to people? Can't we accept it as part of our culture? As a graffiti artist, you know, in the beginning you try to explain what it is and you try to 
you know, make them understand. But at the end of the day, they don't. They will never understand. I think that is actually a nice um, way to uh, to separate graffiti artists from the rest of the world. Graffiti artists understand why people or other graffiti artists are tagging. Can graffiti change people? Can it change opinion by making people stop and think? I mean, yeah, you could use it as a tool to change opinion. You know, what if every graffiti writer in the world, instead of instead of uh, writing their tag for a day, they wrote revolution? Would there be a revolution? Would you know what, what would happen then? Some might call graffiti wank. Others might say it's an art form. Despite costing the government two billion a year, there's no denying that it's a voice for a generation and generations before and generations to come.